It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's Trending Topics. On V103. All right. Top for the 411 all your favorite folks. The Trending Topics. This one is Docs, Docs, and more Docs. Not those Docs. Documentaries. Yep, another Michael Jackson documentary set to be revealed. This one called Killing Michael Jackson. I think we need to work on that title. It's being made to commemorate the anniversary of his death. Ten years later, it's an hour-long British documentary recently acquired by the Discovery Network. An in-depth look at the death of the icon. Matt Graff, the directing, managing director of the film, said this of the revealing documentary. Even this verbiage is kind of off. We are delighted. Really? I'm talking about somebody's death. We're delighted that this documentary has been picked up in territories across the world. This film focuses on the intriguing circumstances surrounding Michael Jackson's death, giving audiences a fascinating insight into final moments of the pop star's life and the criminal process that led to the arrest and conviction of Dr. Conrad Murray. I think I'm going to pass on that one. But if you want to check it out, be on the lookout for it. Another documentary uh, said to be surfacing about someone no longer with us was a Mac Miller documentary. Filmmaker C.J. Wallace said his company started pre-production on a film about the late rapper's life. He wrote on Twitter yesterday about collecting interviews and other content from Miller's family, friends, and fans over the next year. The rapper died from an accidental drug overdose last September at age 26. Update on that story. Mac Miller's family was like, nah, we good. Yeah. He said, we tweeted our intentions to begin developing the doc. At the same time, we reached out to all those closest to him to begin the process of making it official. We heard back from the estate who said the family has requested we hold off at the project at this time. Immediately compiled as the last thing we'd want to negatively impact anyone involved. Quite the opposite. So you tweeted it before you got permission. Dum dum. Story development. Rest in power, Mac Miller. Now, a documentary already out is this one about the Central Park Five. Uh, Ava DuVernay put together an epic thing on Netflix. The When They See Us, it tells the story of the five teenagers. The Central Park Five wrongfully convicted for the assault of a woman. Now, Linda Fairstein, who was a notable investigator, the lead of the Manhattan Sex Crimes Unit during the 1989 crime, was a key factor that led to not only the boys being charged, but the case going to trial, despite none of their DNA being linked to the scene and the idea that none of them were aware of the details of the crime. The real rapists came forward after four of them served their time and while Wise was still behind bars. Anyway... All of these things came to light inside this documentary. She's living the best life, put out some books and things of that nature. A boycott has since uh, started and getting her, uh, hoping to get her books off shelves. The hashtag cancel Linda Feinstein and even one against her publisher, Simon & Schuster, with the hashtag boycott Simon & Schuster. She also had to step down from an organization uh, that basically was standing up for it. it. was a nonprofit that aimed to help victims of abuse and violent crimes in New York City for roughly 20 years. One thing that I think was really telling is that when asked about it, Ava DuVernay said Linda Fairstein, Fairstein actually tried to negotiate. I don't know if I told anyone this, but she tried to negotiate conditions for her to speak to me, including approvals over the script and some other things. So, you know, without my answer, you know what my answer was to that. And we didn't talk. Yeah, she didn't want all them details out. Cancel that right now. Missed any part? V-103.com. More Big Ticket Show right now.